Hey everybody, Brandon here from First Baptist Mount Shasta with the weekly update for January 30th, 2019. Um, I'm not quite used to 18 yet, or 19. Are we 18? I don't know. Um, a couple things I wanted to mention today. One, one I'm just really in particular I'm, I'm excited about is our, our sermon series we currently are in. We just started this this last Sunday, uh, this sermon series on the book of Ruth. Uh, and maybe you were here, and uh, if you were, you were here for quite a while, because we, we spent a lot of time kind of introducing it, kind of setting the table for that. And first of all, I want to say thanks for being troopers, for hanging in for an hour plus long sermon time. Uh, obviously, that's not the norm, but uh, it was definitely beneficial. And, and I want to say that there are, there are times when we study God's Word together, when, we, when God's Word is so, so powerful and so uh, active that those, those kind of time frames are, are necessary. So um, I'm excited about that. If you didn't get a chance to catch that sermon, you can certainly go to our website uh, and check it out. We also have been uh, starting that live stream feed, and, and I want to let you know that we, we uh, aren't able to do the video right now. Something happened to the camera, but we are able to live stream the audio. So you can go back to our Facebook page and listen to the audio from that sermon from Sunday. Um, I just wanted to, to mention, kind of go over, kind of recap of what it was about. Uh, we, we started the, the book of Ruth, and the first part of the book of Ruth says this. It says, during the time of the judges, right? And so I really wanted to kind of set the the table of what we were going to be talking about based on when this book took place and what was happening in the world. Um, one of the things I said during that sermon is that the parallels from this time frame in history to today's time frame uh, are very clear. And it's it's kind of a grieving thing in my own heart to see that, that our world and even my own heart has gone that far uh, to, to behaving uh, as though the Israelites did uh, as, as they did in, uh, in this time. So to set that stage, it, it's kind of going back to the book right before it, the book of Judges. So it says in the time when the judges ruled, or the, uh, during the time of the judges, the very last, the very last verse in the, in the book of Judges really is the, um, the, the tattletale of what was happening. And, and maybe it'll resonate with you. It said this in verse 25 of chapter 21. It says, In those days there was no king in Israel. Everyone did whatever seemed right to him. And, and for some of us, we're like, oh, that, that sounds good. Yeah, I, there's no king. We, we got to do what's best, what's right. But it, it was deeper than that. And if you really read through the book of Judges, you'll see this from the beginning to the end of Judges. You'll see this, this spiral, this descent down into further sin and further rebellion away from God. And, and that's what happens when we all decide that because there's no king, that I will essen essentially be the king of my own heart and I'll do whatever I want, whatever, whatever pleases me, whatever seems right in my own eyes. Um, that is not the way that we should go. And so the challenge, I, I made a challenge for all of us to really think clearly, like maybe where we went wrong is instead of thinking what seems right in my eyes, I'm just going to do that. Maybe we should ask God, God, what's right in your eyes? What should I do? And I, I posed this question or, or this, I guess I made this statement, something or whatever seems right in your eyes may not still be right. I think there are times in my life that I've, I've thought, oh yeah, this is right in my own eyes, but really when I've gone back to examine those, those decisions, they weren't the right choices. They weren't the right decisions. And it was because I made, I made myself my own king. There was no king in Israel. It was me. And I decided to do whatever I wanted. And maybe that resonates with you. It certainly is clear in our society that that's, that's how people live today. They do whatever's right in their own sight. Um, so for you and I, if we want to we wanna be a faithful uh, follower of Christ, we need, to, we need to say, you know what, God, I've got this idea in my mind. I've got this thought of how I should live and, and what's right in my own mind. But I want to ask you what's right. Further than that, what we find in, in uh, not only Judges, but all through the Old Testament and then in the book of Ruth, we find that this remnant, God always had a remnant that was faithful to him or, or a remnant that he sustained through all of this garbage going on in history. And, and it's important for you and I to come to that place to say, you know, I want to be that. I want to be found faithful. I want to be a remnant that God uses for his glory to increase uh, his church, to increase uh, the love for people uh, in, in the community. Those are things that you and I can do. And, and it's, it's a privilege to, to be part of God's remnant, his faithful remnant. And, and sometimes it feels like we're all alone. And sometimes it feels like we have everyone around us supporting us and encouraging us. But either way, I want to be faithful to God. I want to do what he wants me to do. So I'm excited to see uh, as, as we progress through Ruth, as we progress through that idea and that decision to say, I want to be a remnant, we're going to find God's, God's providential, steadfast, enduring love pouring over us in, in, in his grace and the grace of his son, but also in redemption to redeem 
hurts and, and baggage and, and scars that are in our own life, experiences we've had, that he would be redeeming that and restoring not only our relationship with him, but relationship with people for his glory. So uh, my prayer is that you would not say, eh, since there's no king, I'll be king of my own heart. But instead you'd ask God, God, what do you want from me? And how can I be a faithful remnant that would, would do whatever I do to bring glory and honor to you, to Jesus Christ, that people would know him and see him and then they also would be redeemed. Uh, it's a special time uh, in, in, the, in the history of the world. Uh, it's not unique, but it's, it is a special time that we have this opportunity as Christ followers to stand up for him. Hope you're having a great week this week. I hope uh, you're, you're loving God, you're loving others. Um, I look forward to talking to you soon or maybe seeing you on Sunday. God bless you guys. Take care.